So since Apple's recent changes in their whole entire, basically their whole entire Apple lineup right now for their iPhones, it kind of makes a little bit more sense for a lot of people in my opinion to probably just to buy an iPhone 13 than to even think about buying an iPhone 14 unless you're going to go for the 14 Pros. But even at that point, I would probably just recommend buying an iPhone 13 Pro in every single area from a price point standpoint. The 13 Pro and the 13 are way better deals than something like an iPhone 14. Now in the brand new market, if you walk inside of the Apple store, you can buy an iPhone 13. You cannot buy an iPhone 13 Pro anymore, which is very, very unfortunate. So that is one major thing to keep in mind. But if you were to go inside of the brand new Apple store and you were to go buy an iPhone you know, 14, that phone is pretty much going to cost you $799, basically for the base model iPhone 14. However, if you were to go and pick up an iPhone 13 Pro in the used market, this is basically the base model, you know, nothing crazy, $729, I'm finding them all over the place. You can probably get them even less than $700 in the used market if you're, if you're willing to negotiate a little bit. So you can buy a much better iPhone 13 Pro than an iPhone 14, and you're going to be getting a way better camera, way better display, probably better battery life, maybe, maybe not. Same type of performance, same amount of RAM, same chipset. You're going to be getting a very similar phone between both, but you're going to be getting a way better phone on the iPhone 13 Pro, which is going to be substantially cheaper. But this brings me also to the iPhone 13. When I look at something like the iPhone 13, this is also another like in, like spectacular phone that Apple had made. And when I look at the iPhone 13 and its successor, the direct one, which was the iPhone 14, this was probably the smallest gap in terms of features that Apple has added. This was a less of a jump than what people had thought the iPhone 6 to the success was. When the 6 to the success happened, I think a lot of people didn't think it was a big upgrade. Personally, I thought it was a decent upgrade. And then years and years later, we found out it was probably a bigger upgrade than most people thought. And now I can definitely tell you it was a massive upgrade. I could say the 10 to the 10s, that probably wasn't as big of an upgrade. But now with all the software improvements that the you know 10s has gotten over the 10, that may make a little bit more sense. But with the iPhone 13, it is crazy how basically it is 98% of what the iPhone 14 is. It's missing things like emergency SOS mode and maybe like crash detection. Other than that, you are still getting pretty much the same exact phone on the iPhone 13 than on the iPhone 14. And you're still retaining that SIM card tree as well. So you're able to buy that phone all over the place in the brand new market and the used market. They're available everywhere and they still supply those SIM card trays in them too, which is so awesome. So what I will tell you is if you're in the market and if you have the ability to, I would recommend just going through and actually picking up an iPhone 13. They're pretty amazing deals right now if you ask me. If you have any other thoughts or questions, then let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.